Hey guys, it's Awesome Billy 3 and welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are going back on the TampaCraft server. Um I don't even know what oh my there's four people on. Wow, okay. Um I don't even know what episode we're on. Hold on, I need to go check that. Um Oh my god, it is episode 10! <laughs> hey! Nice! We've made it to 10 episodes on TampaCraft. Season 2. That's awesome. I'm gonna pause here, actually. Oh, never mind, we're good. Oh, hello! Hello! I like how they all chose the same... <laughs> the same, like, version of... Greeting like a hello. They all said hey. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Um, I th I, I paused. I thought I was in a different spot where I logged off that didn't want to be there on camera. So I wanted to walk up and show you guys. Um, not much has happened. I actually took like about a month's break from Tampa, let alone from playing any game for that matter. Um, I was actually very, I was kind of in a low, um, I kind of felt depressed for a bit, um, but I'm, I'm much better now, um, I did, however, it was a, a week ago, I did do a video, um, I was feeling alright then, but I mean, other than that, I wasn't really in the mood for playing games, so, but we're back, uh, so I technically, I hadn't been on since the Halloween special, which was back on October 16th, I believe, or the, yeah, it was Saturday the 16th, I believe. Um, but I've been on since, I've been on a couple times, uh, recently. Um, so nothing really has changed in the house. Not much at all, actually. I haven't really done anything, because technically the house is sort of completed. Um, the only thing I will be doing is I might... Oh, I can't put it... I was going to start saying... I was going to start preparing for Christmas. I was I actually thought, oh, I could put a huge Christmas tree in here. I totally forgot there's a chandelier in here. Um, unless I could put it up against, like, say, this wall over here. This could That could work. I don't know. I was going to put a huge Christmas tree in, in here and for Christmas, um, but that might not work now, because I got the chandelier. Uh, chandelier might have to come down, which is fine. It's easily rebuildable, but it probably take me like seven minutes to build it. Um, Alright, Samlin, wait. Oh, alright, Samlin didn't. Alright, because Samlin's AFK. Whoa. Um. So, I was working on something, actually, and it's over here, it's by the, I'm going to exit out of YouTube on my phone, I don't need that open anymore. Um, <clears throat> this hallway feels very dungeon-esque and spooky and not comforting or welcoming. So, um, wow, I've actually never noticed dodging space while walking out of here until now. Um. So I've been building something. Now, I think I said in a past video when I was doing the house tour sort of thing that I wanted to put a boat and a pier out here. Well, the boat, I don't know if I'm going to do the boat anymore because I did something that's much cooler. Um, there's a huge plane out here. Oh, perfect. It's turning nighttime. This... Uh, Why? Um, what, what you guys up to, huh? What, what you, oh, there's a third one. Is there more? Is it like a clown car? Are there more of you? Where, you're kind of harshing my vibe here, not gonna lie. I don't know I don't my Rick Astley. Wow, the lag on that arrow. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! As he died. Um, this 
is the Saunders Row Princess flying boat. Um, I will leave a link in the description to a video explaining the origin of this actual plane. Uh, it was an actual thing, uh, though it was scrapped, actually, because of the poor timing of the company and the poor, poor decisions of Saunders Row. Where I first heard about this, it's a channel called Mustard. It's a weird name, but it's very informative. It's a very cool channel. I highly suggest you check it out. It does a lot of aviation history. Not so much history like well-known, but like the more lesser-known history, like such as this plane here. Planes that didn't really make it or weren't practical enough to make it in today's aviation but anyway, we're going to go inside now. I didn't do the interior either in the creative world, so I kind of designed it as I was going along by pictures online. Um, but here, as you can see, I actually also added a piston door to it. That was an afterthought as well. Pretty nice. Um, so we step inside here. This is the first floor. There are two floors. Um, up here, we have the cockpit. Uh, flight crew access only, but... We're totally fine because I built the thing. So we have a little room here, as well as a little c command center here, and then we have the uh, the control pilot and the co-pilot seat. Um, now, mind you, since it's shorter, the plane's shorter. Also, it's not as big. I couldn't fit all the rooms. Now, if I made this even bigger, like giant size and made it more detailed like the outside of it i would probably have been able to fit all the rooms there are supposed to be way more rooms to this but um here we have like a little bedroom kind of thing there's only two of these that i was able to build we come in here there was an actual bar in the plane on the plane itself so we have a bartender here he's cleaning a glass what will it be uh, we got a couple display things, uh, basically just a water bottle of instant help, two potion, and a splash fire resistance. Um, I guess we'll continue this way. Uh, we have a little storage area. I don't know if that was an actual thing here, but it kind of looked like that these, in like the picture I used, that these were like little cubbies. So instead I made a cubby hole behind it. Uh, here we have another kind of sleeping quarters. Uh, the luggage hold, the designs, the blue blueprints that I found didn't actually show there being a luggage hold, but the video, I think it was in the video I watched, it did say that there was a luggage hold in the back. Um, but here we have a spiral staircase. Now there's supposed to be two spiral staircases, as well as two different areas, actually a upper and a lower, and then two more of those but more spaced out of actual like a passenger area but here we have like some a little like restaurant like dining area um and here is like the kitchen now through this door was actually supposed to be access to the interior of the wings yes the, it, there was enough space inside the wing for technicians to actually go and like work on the engines while the plane was flying it was that spacious but i didn't include that because of length space um but in here we have the actual part where people like would sit during the flight and that's it <clears throat> but i am very 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 happy with how this turned out Especially with the piston door. I also built out of Lego on Lego Ideas. I will post that. It actually just reached over a hundred supporters and it gained an extra year of support time uh, for people to support it and get more upvotes. Um, which I'm very happy about uh, because I believe the reason that happened, it was actually at 57 yesterday, 57 supporters, because it's the actual, it's the second, like, uh, Lego design that I actually designed and 
upload to the website. I just realized I took my. Oh, never mind. They are on. I thought my creature noises were turned off. Um, the first design was of a 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Uh, fantastic car. Um, so far as today, it has 82 support supporting votes. Um, but yesterday, the the plane had 57. Sorry. And I got a notification from the Wintergatten Discord saying, because I was posting pictures of it as I was making the different designs, saying that it was picked as a top five editor's pick from the le from the Lego board as in for the newsletter under top five for uh, product ideas that are under a hundred supporters. So I was number five and I was like, oh my God. So obviously that's why I gained that many supporters, like almost 50 supporters in under a day because it was featured in the newsletter. So I took screenshots of that. I thought it was pretty cool. So if you want to support that, I, I will leave links in the description to both of those um, products, product ideas to my Lego ideas page if you would like to support that, um, which it would mean a lot if you did. Anyway, um, I do have a few things. I still have my to-do list. I have a, a mini game that I've been wanting to build that I was actually thinking of building in the shopping district, but I might put... But I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it in the shopping district still. Uh, is Mumbo's Storage Auction. It was somewhat of a mini game he had built, I think, on Season 6 of Hermitcraft. And it's basically, it was like Storage Wars, if you've seen any of those kind of auction shows. So, I think that's the thing I'm going to work on. Okay, so funny thing. Um... I don't have any dirt, uh, but I know a place that has dirt. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't that much. Good. No one buys dirt. Tell me somebody has. Some sort of landscaping project. Come on now. I got way too much. At this point, just take it. Okay, maybe I did need that other stack. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. I'm sucking on a bar. <coughs> a mini bar. Pretty good. I like the the flavor of chocolate on the outside as well. The, very different from the like normal like Hershey's or whatever chocolate. Raining. Um. So uh, I I finished building the thing I was building. That's not good. That's super city. Um. It's actually the next day. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I finished it last night. The building. Um. I actually was stuck for a while so I stopped recording because I needed to figure out the redstone aspect for um <laughs> the, the for the, the mini game. Oh he started following me. Nope, sorry. 
Dr. Gasly gave you up and let you down. Um, so the mini game is actually, it, it's actually called Sword Wars. If you, if you don't mind the off color E made of wool, as well as the weird looking G, just don't ask. Um, or how it's off, just don't, just ignore it. Just ignore everything about it. It's everything's off center and whatnot. So, um, only the front part of this storage un um, this storage place. Only these four are actually the mini game. The four in the back, um, were an afterthought after I'd already built the frame of this. And I'm like, we only need four in the front. So these ones, I can actually open and show you. Um, they are empty. So I can show you how the thing works. So basically, you press the button, and you get a quick look inside before the door then closes up again. And then that's it. You can only press the button once. And what you see is what you see. And then you place your bid on the storage auction. So basically, Mumbo Jumbo built this back on Hermitcraft Season 6. Um, so I kind of went off of his rule book as well as somewhat of his design. I, this is a different door design, actually. Um, and a different, like, relay setup as well for to have the door close automatically as well. So here are the rules. Welcome to the auction house, where every so often we will hold a bidding war on the storage containers in front of you. Here are the rules. One, wrap some paper from the barrel and rename them to your IGN. One paper is equal to one diamond. These are your bidding tokens. Rule two, the units that will be available for bidding will always only be the four in the front of the building. Pressing the button found on the ground to the far right of the door will open it, hence right here, far right. You are not allowed to go inside, you're not allowed to open any type of container inside the unit, and you're not allowed to break anything. Doing anything above may get you in trouble with me. Rule 3. After pressing the button, the door will open for a brief period of time, as you saw around back, uh, allowing you to survey the contents of the unit. Once you've pressed the button, that's it. You're not allowed to press it again. Hence, what you see is what you see, and that's all. You must then decide how much you want to bid on the unit. If you've been outbid before the closing day, which I will announce ahead of time, you may rename more tokens and increase your bid if you're willing to pay more. Once the bidding has been closed, it will I will count the tokens and whoever has the most wins the unit. The highest bidder will be notified and must then swap out their papers with diamonds. Once the diamonds have been paid, the unit is yours and whatever is inside. Good luck and happy bidding. Now, as of yesterday, seeing as how I finished it for midnight, uh, doing all this, I decided it was after midnight I took screenshots and posted it on the Discord, and so I decided that technically it's all set up because I filled the rooms I'm like well I can't just fill them and then just say like leave it for like say like a specific like future date or whatever like to then do it instead and just let this sit here no that wouldn't make sense because people would get curious and then just start pressing the button and be like what the heck is this so I decided well I did start a stored wars bidding event on the discord after I built this so as of Last night, after midnight, it today is Wednesday, the 18th of November. As of today, it started, and it will the event will last for a week, ending next week on Wednesday, the 25th. Also, somebody has already bid on um, Gigabars. Um, all right, so he bid one. Or two. Bid two. Alright, but he took a stack of paper, so obviously he's holding on to them just in case somebody else bids. Um, so I see how he's doing. He's playing it safe. 
that just throwing off. Now I went for a weird approach. I didn't go for like a like a oh this looks like a really valuable unit kind of thing like diamonds and armor. I might do that in the future. Um, once I get enough money, because I'm I only have half a stack of diamond block. So I'm hoping to make a lot. I can show you one of the rooms, but I won't show you inside, so I need to figure out which one I want to open. I'll show off this one, because this one's personal. Press the button. You can see the actual art if you have my texture pack on. Um, really good. Oh. Here, I'll do it. It says Billy Van Dyne, up and coming artist of the future. Kind of thing. So, if you have. I, I should actually repost my texture pack um, so people can see that. Um, so, yeah, that's. You, you might get some paintings that might be worth something <laughs> in the future if I become a famous artist. Um, Mumbo did something similar to that, but just instead he had paintings by Vincent van Gogh, uh, which is a far less more known, well-known painter and not as well-liked as Vincent van Gogh, if you catch my meaning there. You can hear stuff in there, um, obviously there's fire in there, but I'm not going to say what it is. Um, I also already have planned the next set of rooms for what that's going to be in there. Um, once that is over and whenever I want to do another event, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here It was kind of short. I'm gonna edit this. It shouldn't be that long. I know I spent a lot of time talking about the Saunders row uh, Flying boat I made anyway, that's it for this video here Thank you very much for watching and as always I will see you in the next video Bye